Okay, so we're here at um, Hannaford's and this is the going to be the beginning of the video of this weekend's special video. Uh, we're going to be doing a special science project and that science project, uh, project is is that we're going to be making a very, well done, sorry, you were all dirty there. A very special, uh, an interesting project. We're going to make a mosquito trap. And so, me and my girls, Grace and Faith, they don't want to be on camera because uh, don't they don't like to be on camera. Which I'm not going to put them on camera, although they were on camera before. I want to be on camera. Uh, no, she wants to be on camera now. Say hi! hi. All right, so we're here to do a, uh, a special project here at Hannaford's. We're going to get the, the items. What do we need to get here at Hannaford's? Stuff. Stuff. Uh, we need brown what? sugar. Brown sugar. Um. And what else? Yeast. Yeast. So we need brown sugar and yeast, and we'll probably end up picking a couple of things. And water. Up. And no, we already got water. Um. So we'll probably pick up a couple of things that we can eat that the house needs uh, uh, since we're here at Hannaford's, anyways. So, um, stay tuned. And okay, so we're here. We're doing the 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 science experiment. I got my helpers here. We're going to be doing a mosquito trap for the house, and we're, then we're going to test it out, and we're going to put it out, and then over the course, over the next couple of days, we'll see how well it does. So, here we go. Um, the directions the directions for the mosquito trap, as you know, it's up on the internet, um, is we need uh, two milliliters of water. Do we have water? Yes. Okay. So we got two milliliters of water. Okay. We're gonna wear, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to boil it. So, um, yeah, I do know how to use a, a stove. Okay, so now we're going to let that boil. We need uh, 50 grams of brown sugar and one gram of yeast and um, a two liter bottle. Well, while this is, the water is starting to come up, let's go and let's grab our handy dandy stuff out of here. And I need, okay, so one gram, how do, gram, that's weight, instead of 50 grams of, this is 970, 907, so actually, you know what, let me shut this off, we're going to have to figure out a way, how do we get grams? Is there a way to? On one of these? Grams. Ounces. Uh, can grams be converted over to ounces? If you had like more than one. <coughs> um, how many how many ounces is a gram? I don't know. I think ounces is just a matter of I don't think it's a matter of weight though. It is weight. Grams. I know grams are grams are a measure of weight, but ounces milliliters ounces. is a measure of liquid. liquid, but it's not weight. Grams is a measure yeah. of food. Try the try, how many ounces? How many grams? How many grams are in this? How much is in this? Let me see, Dad. I have glasses. This is seven grams. So. So 0.25 ounces equals seven grams in, in as far as this packet is concerned. So how many grams? So how many grams do we need for the yeast? One. Okay. So under the circumstances, we're gonna this this packet is a little bit more than I expected. Okay. However, we can use. I think we can double it. Because we're using a big bottle, so. So we could, well, we could probably double it to another. So if we double it, that's 50, uh, 100 grams of brown sugar. And two grams of yeast. We might need a bigger pot. So. This is going to be interesting. I think we need to do. I think we need to do some math. You're the mathematician. Oh really? 
Yeah. You think I'm the mathematician? Hold on. I'll be back with a notepad and a pen. Okay, we need. Okay. So we were able to determine that that three quarters, we were three quarters able to of a cup that my is a hundred grams. Okay, so we got we, three quarter case. cup is a hundred grams. So if we and six tablespoons constitute no twelve tablespoons constitutes three quarters cup. So we divided that in two to six. So now we have. Uh, six tablespoons that we're now going to put in the 200 milliliters of water. And that looks pretty cool, by the way. So, how much? We need to determine one gram. Wait. Net weight, 0.25 ounces. Yep. Ounces do not. Oh, ounces is weight. I think grams is something else. Um, right, no, yeah. It looks like we're making <coughs> sugar. Ounces is, um, one liquid ounce is two tablespoons. One liquid ounce. And that's not even one liquid ounce. <clears throat> that's an e-cigarette, by the way. All right, so... All right, while we're waiting for that to, um, it's already starting to, boil. to boil, well now it's starting to boil, what we need to do is we need to take this and we need to basically cut it open. Cut it open. You might need if I can do that. A guy for a dad. No. Boiling fast. All right. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got it. All right. So now, see, one pound is <clears throat> a weight measurement. Slightly, so and then it goes in like this. Wow! And then we That's tape it. So we need tape. So I'm actually going to cut this off a little bit more. Make it a little bit more uniform. What do you mean uniform? Uniform means a little bit more less junky looking. So here we go. So we have this. So that, once it's done, the the boiled water and the brown sugar are going to get poured into here, and then, of course, the yeast gets put into it, which therefore the yeast actually creates carbon dioxide, which attracts mosquitoes, and that's how uh, yeah, that's how mosquitoes track people because we take in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. Too simple. It's a, uh, what's a biology 101. Um, okay, so we still need to determine one gram of yeast or as close to it as possible. Just with the whole thing going. So. 
So I think what we'll need to do is we'll need to pull the yeast out and then try to... All right, so um, basically went into the our handy dandy uh, Google and took a look and found out that one gram uh, equals 0.2 teaspoons, which therefore converts over to one eighth of a teaspoon. So I will go ahead and uh, go with that. I'm still waiting. We're still waiting for the. Uh, I think it's pretty much cooled now. All right, good. So we're going to continue. And let me put some more light on. All right, so we got more light. And so we're going to go with the 1 8. So. All right, so here we go. How does it smell? It smells like uh, boiled brown sugar. It smells like maple syrup. All right. Now it's funny. Um, somebody asked me, it's like, oh, wow, are you doing this for your, your kid's science project? I'm like, no. Why do we need to do anything? Why does it always have to be for school to do something this cool? So that's why we're doing it. Because it's cool. We don't need to do it, but we're doing it because... We can. All right, now, here's our handy dandy uh, yeast. Now we need to get tape. Um, we need to find duct tape. Can we find some duct tape? Uh, Grampy? Hey. Would Grampy have some? Uh, it's possible. Want me to go ask? Yeah, go ask Gramp. Okay, Gram or Gramp? Grammar Grampy. Alright, the yeast has been applied. Grampy and I'm gonna use our handy dandy uh one of the things that I've noticed, clothespins. Put it in, wrap it up. It's good for just about anything. You don't need to get any of those uh, funky clamps that you know cost forever. You know, like a lot of shitload of money. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we have that. That's done. And. So now all we need is uh, tape to go around it. And so here it is. Well, here's without the tape. Here's our handy dandy um, mosquito trap. And we're gonna put it outside and we're gonna see how well it does. And if it does well, we'll uh, you know, put one inside just in case. Because you never know, mosquitoes tend to um, get inside the house, and because they're so small, you can never tell. All right, so here we are. Don't have duct tape, but this is going to work. It's clear tape. And there we have it. Our handy dandy mosquito, mosquito trap. Help. And now let's go ahead and try to set it up. And we'll put it outside. Here comes the 
kind of cool for today. So, figure, we'll put it right here in the center. So we'll have it right here in the in the corner. And there's uh, Faith taking a picture, so she can uh, have it. Probably show it to everybody. And you know, show it to everybody. Uh, they live in Vermont, which is about 300,000 miles away. And uh, so, and that's it. Uh, thank you very much for for watching our wonderful. Um, yeah for our, our science project and uh, have fun, have a great weekend, be safe out there.